morning everyone so today I'm gonna be showing you how I made my Christmas wreath succulent arrangement so these I have made it myself as well because I couldn't find one and the one I wanted are quite pricey so I decided I'd make my own so this is made from my blossom branches I have cut them I weave them and I have lacquer them so they're all good and protected and it won't rot so these are all done and they've been dried they've been sitting out to dry so they're very cute so once they're done they're very cute okay so i like to choose the one that's where it's all connected see like they don't look that good like this is a big hole i'm gonna be putting this is my sphagnum moss that i have soaked overnight and it's quite moist um so i'll be grabbing some of that and just put it over the top of your wreath and you can shape them so you can shape them there you go okay i like to do half because i think maybe one third of the wreath rather than half actually because i think it looks good right whatever looks good to you, you can do okay here you go there it is i think that looks good and i got my twine which i use it is a cooking twine but you can use any type of twine doesn't matter you're not going to be able to see it try to get similar color so you obviously don't want too dark okay so you tie it on one end to hold it together some people use wire but i find that this is so much easier to use for me whatever works for you as long as you secure the sphagnum moss onto your wreath okay so I like to tie a double knot to secure everything. Okay, there. We're not gonna cut that out until the end. We'll use it to tie the other end once we weave it too. So let's weave it through. I like to try to secure as much as I can. So weave it through. Make sure they stay in position of what you want. It's like Christmas. You can't tell it's summer. I have to wear my jumper this morning. It's so, been so cold lately for summer. Our summer gets pretty hot here in Canberra, Australia. It gets up to 40 at some point. But this summer, so far, it's been really cold. So it's been going down to 10 degrees Celsius. Just a bit silly, silly summer. So yesterday it was up to 25. Okay, so you weave that through, now you weave it back, okay? There's some loose one. Then you weave it back really tightly. I like to do it tightly because I like to keep it secure. Okay, there. I honestly wasn't going to do much Christmas stuff. Then a lot of people was like, oh, you should, you should. So I gave it a go. And I'm actually really enjoying it. It's very relaxing. So I have been unwell. So I find it really relaxing for me to be doing it. And I'm not exerting myself. I know people say to me, but you should rest and recover. This is me resting, okay? This is me recovering when I'm meant to, oh. I don't even know what I'm saying. I am recovering. I'm better. And I'm, I'm feeling good about myself. When I do beautiful succulent arrangement, it makes me feel really good. And i also been selling them for cheap too. I've been selling mine for really cheap. So... You know money gets back from selling these 
it goes to money for me to buy more plants. Who doesn't love that? So I sell mine for quite cheap, actually. I think I sell mine for $25, which is the money to cover the sphagnum moss, that twine, and my plant. That's all. I don't consider my time because, you know, it's my hobby. It's not a job. Okay, so here. And that means that everybody can have one if, if I sell for cheap. <laughs> Double knot, tie it off, rubbish, and now shake it. Anything that's loose, just pull it off. Okay, because it doesn't look good if it's loose. Okay, so now shape it. And this is what you have for now. Okay, you can't see, once you put your plants in, you can't see this. Okay, so I put the excessive sphagnum moss back into the bucket because I'll be using them for other ones. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. That's very pretty. I like it. Oh, where's my glue? So I've been using this one. This is craft glue I also got from our local hardware store or you can get sphagnum moss from uh, your local hardware store I got mine from Bunnings and it does cost a fair bit but I bought a big brick it cost me $30 Australian dollars and it's like a fair bit like I made the Christmas tree you can see that on my one of my video and I made so far um, over 10 wreaths and I still have this much left. I'm not sure if you can see it. This much left. I still have one third of my bucket. Okay. So it's still a lot. I'm just cleaning up my nozzle because I used it yesterday. <laughs> so I like it that it has a nozzle. My multi tools that I have. My, I think it's like an angle tweezer. I got this from eBay for $2. It's a surgical tool. I'm performing some kind of surgery in my succulent. <laughs> okay, so I like to choose the center. Okay, there you go. Oh, make sure you have enough cutting before you start because otherwise you'll be walking back and forth, back and forth. So I have my cutting that I've cut. Okay. I like to have a variety of different colors because I like my colorful. Okay, so you choose your center and then you place them in and then you see what you like best. And so, which one do I like best? Very similar color. I like to do a little offset of color. That one's prettier. See it. It brings out the color in each other. So take a leaf off, don't throw it away. I put mine into a pile next to me. I'm gonna put in my propagation tray. Okay. That's too long. I like to have a little bit of a stem. But that one's too long. Okay. That looks good. Okay. Let's sit. Once it sit, you're in good condition. Okay. No, no, but like that. That doesn't look good for me. I like to do. Oh, look, this one looks better. Oh, I think I like that one better. Okay, let's take. So have a little bit of a stem on the bottom. Oh, a little stem. Okay. So that it can stay in the little hole you make. Oh, that looks very pretty. Okay. Now let's do similar color. Let's do something different. 
Oh, I don't have much left because I used them up yesterday. Okay. Let's meta. See if I have something. Oh, this one looks nice. But there you go. Look. And then you can just put offsets. So you have, see, I have like bluish. Then I have my green. Then I have my lime green. So once you're happy with that, set it in. I like to go from big to small. I have different way of doing it. Sometimes I like to do all big and then little babies because then I have my features. This is my features. All the big were set at the front, other features. Okay, so once you're happy with that, get the glue in. Fill the hole. No string. Make sure there's no string because it's messy. Okay, once you're happy, you put it in. So what I like about this glue is it takes a while to dry. So if you're still not happy with it, take it back out. You can take it out. It's no problem. It doesn't affect the succulent. I've tested out and the roots is still goes through them. I don't have a problem. But if you're too concerned, you can always do it like this and leave it to grow. But it will take a while. So that means you can you enjoy it and you have it to, to make it um, a few weeks prior. And you won't enjoy it as much. Because if you do it like this, you can enjoy it for longer because it takes longer time to take roots and it's still a beautiful range ring uh, big i like different variety i like different what do you call it um, can't find the word i want now do i I don't know. I don't know. I can't find the actual words. So look, now I have my blue jelly beans. I love my blue jelly bean right now. It's gone orange. Wait. Look at that. Which one looks best? No, it doesn't look any good. But that one looks all right there. So once you're happy, put it in. I'm pretty happy with mine. So once that's in, glue it. So I like to have different variety of shapes and different succulents. So it's not just rosette form. See, like the all rosette form. So I like to have different texture on my... Yeah, but you do what you like. Because you're the one who's going to enjoy it. How about different? Oh, look at the baby in this one. I think I might have another one of these. I love my star best. I use it for everything. I just love how different it can look. It depends on where you grow them, how you grow them. So some I really stress and I, look at this. Okay, look at that. That's different. That's from the garden. That's from a pot. And depends on that's for, uh, that one's from the front of my house. That one's from the back. So one's a bit more stressed than the other. So this one's got more purpley color. That one's got more yellow color. So it depends on where you grow them. And it depends on how beautiful they're gonna be. It depends on colors, shapes. Oh. Some of the one in the shades a bit longer. Some of the one in the sun and much more shorter. Yeah, well, it also depends on the age, really. Okay. So you just keep going. So I find that once I've done the features, I just need to do the bottom. Oh, can't see, can you? The bottom, I do this here. I do two rows. So I do the first row. I try to get little baby ones because they look nicer. And then do the bottom row. And then when I'm done, I'm done. You leave it 
and then you would turn it up and I would do the top the top row here so I would do this okay so I have one that I finished yesterday to show you so here okay so I do two rows and the little ones and then when it got towards the end I didn't do it because you can't see it okay so I do that and then I do the top here I do like this and I like to have a feather look on the side I think it looks very pretty so I like to have different variety of color per mine all right, I think you should go and make your own. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone.